the state of Michigan is in a, in a real funk uh, right now uh, on so many levels. And everyone uh, uh, feels it, and uh, nobody knows just how much worse it's going to get uh, before it gets better, if it gets better. All the anxiety and, and fear that runs along with that, and people not knowing if they can pay their mortgage uh, next month, and the basic bills and all that. Uh, uh, you know, as I pointed out in my film, there's a, a home foreclosed in this country now once every seven and a half seconds. There's some family being thrown out on the street. So um, I really, I, whatever we can do, instead of playing defense with whatever threats from the legislature or from a certain party uh, uh, against what we're trying to do to create jobs, um, I, I think that, that to, to, to whatever we can do on the offense to take that ball down the field and to start and to get out of our own funk with this, we are Michigan. We are the state of Michigan. This is the state that gave the world a man who invented an automobile, figured out a different way to create a, an assembly line, and then came up with a genius idea that if you don't pay workers a good wage, they can't afford the car that they're building. And nobody really thought of that before. And that came out of us. And Thomas Edison grew up in Port Huron. And all the inventions, all the stuff. Where, who are the inventors in this state? Who are the people that we don't even know? And, and who are the filmmakers? And we talk a lot about bringing people from L.A. and New York, bringing film projects here, bringing the studios here. i got to believe there's a lot of talented Michiganders uh, who are going to be our next Francis Ford Coppola, born in Detroit, or our next James Earl Jones, or our next, you know, we can go down the whole list, Robin Williams, Lily Tomlin, um, Jeff Daniels. I mean, it's a long, long list of people from this state. But we're the state of Henry Ford and Thomas Edison and Barry Gordy and the great revolutions that occurred culturally, business-wise, transportation, all from the people of the state. And whatever we can do to take an offensive position, I mean offensive, but <laughs> play offense here with our, with our council to, to do uh, what, you know, what he would jokingly referred to as trying to create this into the film capital of the world, but we actually we actually can be a lot more than we've been. And 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 let's not be on the defensive about this. Let's support Michigan filmmakers. Let's keep those people from moving from here to New York or LA. And uh, and let's look for the next the next Barry Gordon, the next whoever, because I believe they're out there. I believe they are in Battle Creek and Traverse City and Flint and Saginaw. And um, um, that's my pep talk to try and, you know, get us out of our collective place of feeling like we're just, we've just sunk down the, the, the drain here. I don't believe that. No, we and that way to go up. Really no, I know you don't. And that's why we all need to be strong voices for this. And just to listen to Bill and Tim, what, what this is doing, you can add up the wages. These are not minimum wage jobs. These are middle class jobs. These are jobs you can raise a family on. They don't pollute. I mean, there's so many positive things about this. Um, I was asked by the Grand Rapids Press before we started the meeting here about, you know, this whole incentive thing. And it's like anything that, that creates jobs, protects jobs, brings jobs here, that's what we should be about. That's got to be Michigan's number one priority. We're part of that process, those of us around, around this table. And the people in this audience, filmmakers in this audience, people want to produce their first film. People want to build a film studio here. Uh, we're all in the same boat here. We're all, we're going to sink or swim together. The Republicans need to hear that because they're in that boat with us. They're going to sink if we sink. We all are committed to not sink.